arc blasts and arc flash injuries. When working near electrical installations, it's crucial to consider arc blasts, flash risk, and potential injuries. Individuals working on or near live conductors or electrical equipment face risk of serious injury, including severe burns and even fatal outcomes from arcing faults. Fault currents can reach up to 25 times the rated current in short circuits. Injuries from arc blasts and flashes primarily occur due to thermal effects from radiated heat and the plasma cloud generated by faults, often described as a fireball. The energy impact in a worker's body is known as the incident energy. Even a low level of incident energy, as little as 1.2 calories per centimeter squared, can cause second degree burns and ignite personal protective equipment, PPE, made from cotton or synthetic blends. If a short circuit occurs at less than 10 kA or on a 63 amp uh, service or less, the arc blast would be minimal with manageable sparks and limited noise. Potential injuries might include minor burns and temporary hearing discomfort, molten metal if operating within 500 mils of the equipment. We recommend long sleeve shirt and pants, natural fibres should be fine, safety glasses or goggles, and insulated gloves. At 10 kA to 20 kA, or a service greater than 63 amps, the arc blast would be moderate, generating noticeable flashes and a louder sound. Potential injuries could include moderate burns, hearing damage, temporary vision impairment, and potential clothing fire if operating within 500 mils. We recommend arc rated shirt and pants or coverall with a minimum ATPV of four calories per centimeter squared. An arc rated face shield with a chin cup, insulated or arc rated gloves, insulated mat, and an ISSC 14 electrical first aid kit to be present. With energy levels of greater than 20 kA to 40 kA, or greater than 160 amp service, the arc blast becomes significant, producing intense flashes, heat, and deafening noise. Operating within 500 mils could result in severe burns, permanent hearing loss, vision damage, and high risk of clothing fire. We recommend arc rated shirt and pants or coveralls with a minimum ATPV of eight calories per centimeter squared, an arc rated face shield with a chin cup, insulated gloves with leather or fire resistance outer gloves, a safety observer, a low voltage rescue kit, an ISSC 14 electrical first aid kit, and use insulated mats. At 40 kA to 80 kA, or a service greater than 800 amps. The arc blast is substantial, creating blinding light, extreme heat, and a powerful explosion. Potential injuries within 500 mils include life-threatening burns, severe auditory damage, blindness, and a very high likelihood of clothing fire. We recommend layers of arc-rated shirt and pants or coveralls and arc-rated suit that combine meets a minimum ATPV of 25 calories per centimeter squared. We also recommended a hood with a minimum of ATPV 25 calories per centimeter squared. Insulated gloves with leather or fire resistance outer gloves, a safety observer, a low voltage rescue kit, an ISSC 14 electrical first aid kit, and use an insulated mat. And finally, for greater than 80 kA or high voltage work, or services that are greater than 2000 amp, the arc blast would be catastrophic, unleashing massive explosion with blinding light, searing heat, and destructive forces. Operating within 500 mils could lead to fatal injuries, including catastrophic burns, total hearing and vision loss, severe trauma, and an unavoidable risk of closing fire. We recommend layers of arc rated FR shirt and FR pants or FR coveralls and arc flash shoot that meets a minimum arc rating of 40 calories per centimeter squared. Uh, we also recommend a hood with an ATPV of minimum 40 calories per centimeter squared, insulated gloves with leather or fire resistant outer gloves, a safety observer, an LV rescue kit, an ISSC 14 electrical first aid kit and an insulated mat.